here we go. If we work at individuation, we begin to see the difference between the ideas and values that come out of our own selves and the social opinions that we absorb from the world around us. We can cease to be mere appendages of a society or a clique of people. We learn that we have our own values, our own ways of life that proceed naturally out of our inborn natures. A great sense of security develops from this process of individuation. One begins to understand that it isn't necessary to struggle to be like someone else. For by being one's own self, one stands on the surest ground. We realize that to know ourselves completely and to develop all the strengths that are built into us is a lifetime task. We don't need to make it in an imitation of someone else's life. There is no further need for pretensions, for what is already ours is rich as enough and far more than we ever expected. And I gotta say that after finishing Emerson's Self-Reliance, this totally has his creed there of individuality, imitation is suicide. And honestly, it makes me think that if you had a question, if you saw those videos and had a question of how could someone be, be so set in their convictions, can they be so confident to develop that confidence in yourself and what to stand by what you believe in, regardless of if it's the tradition or the dogma of the day, to march to the beat of your own drum, how do you get that confidence? I think that that comes from this, um, from inner work. And not from this book, because you can get this from simply going within and asking yourself, testing truths against your inner wisdom. When you spend enough time doing that, you'll get the answers. You sense it. You, you know, you're not going to hear someone telling you, yes, that's correct. But, you know, you sense it. And you come to a point of understanding intuitively and intrinsically what is right and what is wrong. Because there is only one truth. There's only one truth. And that's why there's so many... Um, similarities in many of these teachings because they're weaving the thread of universal truth together and this helps to put together the piece of paying attention to our inner world and the unconscious that we put on the back burner bringing it to the front re-embracing our spirituality and coming into our power and that's what Emerson says is self-reliance so um, without further ado I will go ahead and cut this off here and move into chapter uno, inner work, seeking the unconscious. One second, I'll be right back.